ever thought about why your life feels like a messed up jigsaw puzzle? Maybe because you're trying to force the wrong pieces together. Now, let's get real for a hot minute here. We've all heard that old saying, form follows function, right? But have you ever stopped to wonder what that really means, especially when it comes to your own life? Well, buckle up, buttercup, because we're about to take a deep dive into this. Think about it. You wouldn't use a hammer to butter your toast, would you? That'd just be dumb, right? And yet, how many of us are out here trying to use the wrong tools for the job when it comes to our lives? Too many, that's how many. This form follows function thing, it's not just about architecture or design, it's about life, man. It's about understanding that the shape of your life, your form, should be determined by your purpose, your function. Imagine you're a Ferrari, sleek and fast, but you're stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, never getting a chance to rev up that engine. That's what happens when your form doesn't match your function. You're a high-performance machine built for speed, not for crawling along at a snail's pace. You're meant to be tearing up the track, not stuck in the slow lane. So the first step to unleashing your power, figuring out your function, your purpose, what you were built for, once you've got that nailed down, then you can start shaping your life, your form, to match it. Anything else is just like trying to use a hammer to butter your toast. And we already agreed, that's just plain dumb, didn't we? Now I ain't saying this is gonna be easy, it ain't, but nothing worth doing ever is, right? So it's time to stop trying to force those jigsaw pieces together and start figuring out what your picture is supposed to look like. Remember, you can't fit a square pig in a round hole and you can't expect to grow if you ain't know your role. So you think 24 7 grind is the key, huh? Nah, it ain't just about hustling, it's about hustling right. Now don't get me wrong, I ain't against the hustle. But let's get something straight here. You ever seen a hamster on a wheel? That little guy is grinding, ain't he? But he ain't going nowhere, right? That's what happens when you're all about the grind, but you ain't got no direction. You're just a hamster on a wheel, my dude. Let me paint you another picture. You ever tried to chop down a tree with a dull ax? Now that's a grind. You're swinging away, sweat pouring down your face, putting your back into it. But you ain't making much progress, are you? That's because you're working hard, but you ain't working smart. You see, the hustle ain't just about breaking your back day in and day out. It's about knowing why you're doing what you're doing. It's about having a purpose, a goal. It's about sharpening that ax before you start swinging. It's about choosing the right tree to chop down. It's about, well, you get the picture. You gotta have a plan, man. You gotta have a vision. You gotta know where you're headed. Otherwise, you're just running in place, wasting your time and energy. It's like trying to drive a car with no gas. You can rev that engine all you want, but you ain't going nowhere. So listen up. Stop glorifying the grind. Stop wearing your exhaustion like a badge of honor. Stop running on that hamster wheel. Start hustling right. Start setting goals. Start making plans. Start moving in the right direction. And for the love of everything, take a break once in a while. Ain't nobody going to give you a medal for working yourself into the ground. If you're running in circles, you're still going nowhere fast, my man. You ain't just a paycheck and a beard, bro. There's more to being a man. Now hold up, before you start flexing and puffing your chest out, hear me out. You ain't just some hunk of meat, nor are you a walking ATM. You're a man, with layers and roles that go beyond the superficial. Ain't nothing simple about being a man, and that's a fact. Look, each man plays different roles in life. You might be a son, a brother, a father, a friend, a mentor, a student. Each role has its own set of responsibilities, its own demands. Each role shapes you, molds you into the man you are today. But the trick is, you gotta understand these roles, embrace them, learn from them. That's how you grow, my man. Now, I ain't saying it's easy. Nah, it's a grind, but not the kind you're used to. This ain't about hustling for that paper or chasing after those gains in the gym. This is about digging deep, getting to know yourself, understanding your roles and how they shape you. It's about personal growth, homie. Remember, you ain't just a son or a brother or a father. You're all of those things and more. Each role you play is like a piece of the puzzle that makes up who you are. And when you start to see how those pieces fit together, that's when you start to see the bigger picture. That's when you start to understand the function of a man. You gotta understand, bro, you're not defined by what you do. You're defined by who you are. 
and who you are as a complex, multifaceted individual with the power to influence, to inspire, to make a difference. So don't sell yourself short. Don't limit yourself to a single role or a single definition of what it means to be a man. You ain't just a cog in the machine, you're the whole damn engine. You ain't gotta be a square to fit in, be the round peg that stands out. Now ain't that the truth? In a world that's always trying to put you in a box, it's time to break out and embrace your individuality. I mean, look around. You got people trying to squeeze into skinny jeans when they should be rocking slacks. You got fellas splashing cash on fancy rides they can't afford just to keep up with the Joneses. You got dudes trying to fit into some mold that society has set, like some kind of cookie cutter. But let me tell you something, ain't no cookie ever won a Michelin star. Now I ain't saying there's anything wrong with wanting nice things or trying to fit in, but when it starts to define you, when it starts to change who you are at your core, that's when you gotta put your foot down. You gotta say, hey, wait a minute, I ain't no square peg, I'm a round peg and I'm gonna stand out. Don't let society dictate your form. You're not a piece of Play-Doh to be molded and shaped into whatever's trending. You're a human being. Unique and original, you got your own ideas, your own style, your own swagger. Don't let anyone dim your light. Remember that? That cat who tried to be a dog? He ended up barking up the wrong tree and got chased off by the real dogs? Don't be that cat, be you, because you're the only one who can be you. And you're damn good at it. So here's the secret sauce, my friend. Your form, your rules. If you're a square peg, be the best damn square peg there is. If you're a round peg, stand out and show them how it's done. But whatever you do, don't try to be something you're not. Life isn't a game of Simon Says. You don't have to follow the crowd. Be the trendsetter, not the follower. Be the original, not the copy. Be the round peg in a world full of square holes. You do you, bro. Don't be a photocopy in a world full of originals. So you've figured out your function, now what? Time to hit the road, Jack. Now that we've laid the groundwork, it's time to strap on those boots and start trekking towards growth. But let me tell you, this ain't a stroll in Central Park. It's more like a marathon through the heart of the Bronx with all its charm and grit. First off, you gotta set your goals. Not just any goals, though. We're talking about those big, hairy, audacious goals that make your heart race and your palms sweaty. The kind that make you wanna shout, I got this from the rooftops of every brownstone in Brooklyn. Next, you gotta break down those goals into bite-sized pieces. Think of it like a pizza. You wouldn't try to scarf down the whole pie in one go, right? Now nah, you slice it up, enjoy each piece, savor the journey to an empty box. Same goes for your goals. Now here's the kicker. You gotta stay consistent. It's easy to get fired up at the start, but the real challenge is keeping that flame burning day after day, month after month. It's like about a New York winter. It's long, it's brutal, but you know spring's coming if you can just hold on. And lastly, don't forget to celebrate your wins, no matter how small. You made it a day without hitting the snooze button. Cheers to that. You finished a book you've been putting off? Pop the champagne. Just remember, personal growth ain't a walk in the park. It's a journey that takes time, patience, and a whole lot of grit. But trust me, the view from the top, it's worth every step. Growth ain't a destination, it's a journey. So buckle up and enjoy the ride.